I saw them play at Beloved last year. It was so interesting to watch the crowd when Yaima came on. The energy just got really a lot lighter, magical feel. And they did their set. Pepper sang a song about the rain, and it started raining. And the people in the crowd were just like, <laughs> so yeah, there's a, there's a bit of magic that happens. And people don't get to experience magic very often. You know, so when they do, when they get to, and it's, it's good and strong and clear and clean, it affects people, you know? People leave with a smile and, and a changed heart, so. That's why I pretty much book Yaima at every show I do. What do I hear in Yaima's music? So much. I hear this. I hear the marriage of heaven and earth. This idea that we are angelic beings and swamp things of our mother and this merging of the two. I hear, I hear this. I hear this seed of life, which is creation, inspiration. I hear this, this geometry, this is kind of the way I'm experiencing the world right now. And Yaima really helps me explore some of these mysteries. I feel like I used to listen to music in a sense to escape. And now when I choose to listen to music, it's that which will help me actually dive into my processes, my contemplations, whatever. And Yaima is one of the, the greatest gifts in that regard. I often listen to Yaima music when I'm out traveling and checking out sacred sites and these things that I often do. It really brings me into focus of this contemplation of these two ways that we see really evolving at this point. And one, people kind of drinking the special sauce of their preference and often moving into this place of, oh, I need to be a a monkey being just living off the land in the jungle again, that's the only way I can come into right relationship with Earth. And on the other side, this technology and this idea of like transhumanism and these kinds of things. And it can be really divided, but many times we have those dualities, we can find polarity and come into syzygy with it. And that to me is, is all in Yaima's music. 
and Pepper's voice herself, I mean, just this, this very kind of Appalachian rootsy way, but the way that it weaves and dances over the electronic beats is such a beautiful thing. And, and one thing that always inspires me about Pepper, about Yaima in general, is there's these wonderful songs and they can sound different every time. Pepper has a unique gift with reharmonizing, bringing new melodies to songs that she's written before. Songs that she's had and then Moss comes along and they merge them in their two kind of essences and unique individualities and then what Jeff brings to the picture. So, But the poetry as well, I mean, some of the things that really have spoken to my heart and helped me engage with myself are things that Pepper sings about um, free from all the stories I've been told. I walk through the valley with my own shadow. I might not be getting that exactly right. There's another song, Chasing Antares. And Antares is a star, it's the heart of the scorpion. And she sings that, listen very closely, darkness follows light, but without the darkness we would all lose sight of the place that we're all going, the place we're meant to be, right? The music's all transpired, now the poetry. So this is a really deep core poet. And there's poetry in Moss and Jeff's music as well. And so it's an amazing vehicle, I think, for each of us in our own way, uh, through our senses to engage with our experience of what it is to be human, what it is to be growing in to ourselves at this time. And I'm sure some of these themes that I speak to will have other listeners out there nodding. And I imagine other people will say, that's not what I hear at all. I hear something totally different. And I think that's the true essence of music. This gift that it's going to sound different to every ear it touches and that it will consistently reinvent itself. That in a way, creator can create through these beautiful beings that are Yaima. So that's what I hear, and thank you for that.
talking about music for me is an interesting, interesting thing because I usually end up just seeing music, and not everybody quite does that. Most people hear it, and the vibrational experience comes from their body. I mean, I'm like, I want to see the color and how it's, how it's manifesting through the voice, you know, through the didgeridoo, through the hand pan, through the drum. So. You know, it, it's tricky for me because my experience isn't part of the musical crowd. You know, my experience is only from having the brush in my hand and how the music moves the brush and how it moves the pigments. So I have a, a, a very, a very narrow medium of experience when music is happening. Um, but I get to judge it with all the other music. Every other, you know, every song that comes on, the paint gets moved differently from the water, and so. Uh, all the instruments that come together and such a blending of the harmonies that uh, this band really plays with. It really, it really makes the waters of my paintings like really solidify and become quite pure. Um, I am quite happy to paint with the Aima's music. It makes the most fabulous paintings. It makes it easy to paint. Some, some music shows I'll go to and the music doesn't have a lot of harmony to it. It can have a, a little bit of a, you know, a lot of tensions in there. And that can be really great. It can be really challenging to manifest a beautiful image under those conditions. It's very easy to make a painting. And the people's hearts are very like finding that unity too, which makes the, the painting work even easier. So uh, it's quite a, a, quite a grand pleasure to be an artist and get to work with a band like Yaima. I have an eight-foot painting, so I don't get—I don't always get to see all the people in their experience that are like it's. I'm always back, I'm back through the brush. Personally, in my own heart, like it makes me quite comfortable. You know, um, without going to a concert where I listen to this music at home, stress is eliminated. My space becomes super clear. I think that's a real medicine. Any anything that I can find that makes my heart find a really comfortable rhythm, well, that's. That's healing for my body and for my cells and for everything that's gonna, that I'm gonna reach and meet in the day. So like having that kind of music is a great boon for me to just have access to. Set my heart in a nice tone. You know, anytime I feel stressed or anything, I can just go to that, you know. I'm, I feel very fortunate to be Moss's friend and Pepper's friend and Jeff's friend. such intelligent ears I feel like all, all of them have. Like the intelligence of how they craft sound together is really keen. You notice that it's like such, such delicate, sweet sounds I hear from their music. I appreciate that a lot. It's a young band. You guys are such a young band. It's just kind of getting started. There's so much that's happened already in this small microcosm of time. And wow. 
If this rides a nice long wave rhythm, that is gonna go so far and so beautiful and so healing for so many people. Because Pepper Moss and Jeff are so impeccable human beings, their heart is so open, their talent is so evident, their message is so important, the vibration that their music transmits is so important. I, my prayer for them is that this ripple that they carry, that this ripple goes all the way out into the world and that their voice gets heard. And, and not just the voice, but the vibration of the music, that the vibration of the music gets felt as ambassadors, as Earth Angel ambassadors. My wish is that, my prayer is that their sound travels far and wide.
fucking thing. <laughs>